good afternoon. It's apparently time to re-ink fountain pens. If you've been following along on Instagram, you'll know I've been cleaning pens recently. And so now it's time to re-ink everything. And I am changing up colors this month. And I'm going to have a little bit of fun with it. Um, so I feel like it. So the first thing is that the bottle of storied blue from Atlas arrived. And so now you can really see the color difference. This was the bottle I wanted. And this was the first bottle I received. And you can see just how green it is. Which means I officially have ink for the Schaefer Snorkel. I have not looked up how to ink the Schaefer Snorkel though. So maybe it'll be in my March inked video. We are going to start with though, what is staying inked? And then we'll sort of get into this pile of stuff. So the Waterman is not being inked. It was just in what I pulled out. It's quite pretty. I still haven't found the right gray. So if you've got a gray ink that is celluloid safe, let me know. I'm still looking for suggestions. It's got like this gold trim on it. And I need suggestions. I'm stuck. I haven't found anything I liked. I bought Earl Grey and it's too dark. So I need better suggestions. But the Schaefer on the other hand is a pretty it's not a perfect match, but it is a pretty solid match for Storied Blue. And I know I love Storied Blue, so Storied Blue is going in the shape. I need to learn how to ink a snorkel pen. Um, that's not happening this month, so it'll be in the April inked video. This pen has already been re-inked this month once. This is my cheap pen from Amazon that just gets black waterproof ink in it. Apparently it also has a giant air bubble, but it gets my black sailor waterproof ink that I use for sketching in it. It's great. It's a little bit thicker. I wish it was a Japanese extra fine just because I tend to use really, really thick, thin fine liners when I draw. Then we have the other four pens that are currently inked. Will all of them be staying inked? I don't know. I think... Look at this book. I think Sell It On Cat is in the purple. I didn't write it down. Sell It On Cat's in a medium. Of course I didn't write this down. I want to say Sell It On Cat's in here. It is. I don't know that I love it in this pen. I didn't use it a bunch, so it's going to get cleaned. This is Madame Mulberry. It's staying Madame Mulberry, though it does need more ink. This is labeled as being Malibu, Malibu Blush, but is really... Uh, it's the Sherry Sonata. The Sherry Sonata just wasn't out when I inked the pen. So it's getting more ink. And this is Diamine Earl Grey. Which I'm just still in there. Got a lot of ink still in there. Okay. We'll keep that inked. That's four. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've still got two spots left, plus my daily pen. All right, so in here we have, not what I want, well we do. Um, the Parker 45, I've shown on Instagram. I still can't get it apart. I followed Reddit's advice. I can't get the nib apart. So I've gotten in touch with somebody I know that restores fountain pens and hopefully he has some advice. My plan was to ink either the bunnies or the sunsets. I just haven't decided which one. 
and they're still drying out. So those might wait until April as well. I think the bunnies is getting storied blue and I still haven't decided on the ink for the sunset. Everyone keeps suggesting a lavender or a lilac ink. I don't have one. So we'll see what happens there. I do really like that I put them in white bodies though because it just lets the nibs really shine. So the Quake is going back to dust and bloom. It actually ran out of ink this month. And so for the first time it got a full on clean. What? Okay, one second. We've done Fluttering Hearts, Waco, Ball, Nib, Nib, Pocono, Fake Parker. Real Parker. Do I not have a real Parker in red one? There's the red Parker. So I don't have a swatch for the rainbow pen apparently. Let's do one quickly right now. Uh, this is um, extra fine. And is on. On. The ink is A I W A T U -E R O Sailor. So that's what I've currently got inked. So what do I want to add to that? It's not the colors I've got inked. Those are the pens I've got inked. So I think I want to add something fun. So my fun options, that's medium nib. It's Mom's. It's the Schaefer. See, the Schaefer is really pretty. I just like use it as a dip pen. I don't ink it. Um, it's... I could ink the new Ferris wheel press pen, which isn't, you know, a super fun pen, but is quite pretty. Maybe. Is that what you mean? So have one spot. I'm only gonna ink the waterman once I have an ink for it. So I've got a Lamy broad, I've got a bent nib, I've got a stub. All right, fun nib options. I have it's like Pokemon cards, but fountain pen edition. Broad a bent, an architect, a stub, and a stub. I don't know that I've used either of these two stubs. I have used the architect and the bent. Bent is really fun. I sort of want to use the bent just because it's fun, which like isn't how I should be making decisions about which fountain pen to use in reality. Um, I should be making decisions based on what's practical. What's in here? This is a bent. There's the broad vista. What's in this? Nothing's in this. This could be any of those three. I just have to find the nib. The other option 
is the Ferris wheel press uh, the brush. My only fear is that right now mine is totally scratch free. Realistically, I know that as soon as it gets its first scratch, like I'm going to be far less brushes with it. It's just like the whole right now it's pristine. And so it can't, it can't get scratched. So for now, it's just going to get tucked away again. But I think we're going to choose something fun. Any nib ideas? Well, I look at ink. So we need to pull the Sherry Sonata. We need to pull Storied Blue. Maybe? Nope. We need to pull... Do something from here. We do like Blue Yosemite in it. Maybe we'll just put Blue Yosemite in it. Um, oh, I need Madame Mulberry. I need Dusk and Bloom. Earl Grey. You've already been re-inked in black. Maybe I will ink you up some more at the very end. I do like that color. All right, whatever I ink up is getting storied blue. I think. So I'm not, it's not like a shimmery month. I'm not feeling the shimmers right now. I'm feeling that like muted palette. Sure. So, what fun nib do I want? Oh, I think. Let's go with the stub. Which size of stub? I'm not sure. Whichever one I find first is probably the answer. So, which stub am I going to find first? Nope. Glass pen nib. Loose nibs. Stub 1.1. Here we go. So I guess the last time I used this pen, I just went, I cleaned the nib and then I decided to just like put it away and not um, Maybe I didn't clean it because like there's still little bits of ink. They might be stealing the converter from the other one. Oh, Alright, we need to be clean. Where's the other one? I just had it. There it is. Alright. Are you clean? Be clean? You are clean. Great. I wonder what I had it inked up with. Who knows? So, that's the stub 1.1. Yes. Alright, there is this month's pen selection. I did actually like having a huge selection this month. I know I said that I probably wasn't going to do it again because it was a lot of pens and it was a lot of pens, but I did also enjoy having that many pen options in the month. So 
Now let's figure out what colors are going where. This is this already, and so it's just getting topped off. This is this already. This is this and just needs a little bit extra. This is always this. This is always this. This is this. And this is going to be... This, I think. I think cotton candy blue, which is a nicer match, is too pale. Yeah, I'm gonna go with Lulu Yosemite, which I think looks quite nice in medium nib. So there's this month's color palette. Mostly Ferris wheel press, as always, but some Diamine, some Sailor. Let's get into inking things up. I'm going to start with, I'm going to start with this, mostly because I just like inking from the little things, and I think this one's it, yep, alright, so, let's go I haven't actually inked this one. I've only used it as a dip. I think it only arrived last week. It might have arrived the week before. Um, quite. I don't know. I like their pens. Uh, also, if you're like against partial fills, this is not the channel for you. I had somebody comment on Instagram that the partial fills were killing them. This is not the channel if you hate partial fills. I am the queen of partial fills because I like changing my colors up constantly. And so really I only ever do partial fills. I'm like Quite small partial fills, I'd say, compared to some people. Um, it's really all I'm putting in. I've probably filled it maybe two fifths of the way. I'm going to change the color at some point, and so I don't see the point in filling it more than that. It's just wasting ink. In my case, if you're this person that uses the same ink all the time, that's not a as big of a problem, there are some pens that I'm going to fill all the way, like uh, Dusk and Bloom and Madame Mulberry. I have to figure out which version of the storied blue this is. I need to label them. I now have two bottles. I need Dusk and Bloom. I need Madame Mulberry. I need storied blue. And I need the Sherry Sonata. I do almost wish I was using Pink Eraser this month. It's such a fun color. But I don't have... I'm not going to put out more pens than I can fit in my pen roll, plus the one that goes in my purse. That's just too many. So we're going to live with the selection I have. So do its thing. I'm going to figure out which one I've grabbed. I need to mark them. So one is blue and one is green. And both look the same. I think that's the blue one. I had to guess. I'd say that's the blue one. So we are going to fill this up. Again, it's going to be a partial fill. 
in this lovely new stub nib that actually isn't new. I've had it since November. I just like have too many loose nibs. And for a while, this pen was always an architect. This pen lived its life as an architect. So, like, we've filled just past where the ring is. Where is this one? I will say that's one thing I really like about the Ferris wheel press bottles is their lids. As somebody with hand issues, I like their lids. They're easy to open and close. Or easier to open and close. So I'm going to close this up and stick the cap on. I'm just going to stick the cap on this. I don't make a bigger mess. Then we have I'm going to use this. Story blue blue goes before story blue green. I love this Rolodex. Best find to date from my thrift store. We have Madame Mulberry. Nope, we have Sherry Sonata. I can read. Sometimes. So, when I inked this pen last month, this was actually Malibu Blush. But I knew that it wasn't staying Malibu Blush, which is why I put a very light pink ink in it. So... My hand might be just too shaky to ink it from the container while trying to like hold it together. This is the only aluminum pen in my collection and will probably stay that way. I find them a bit heavy in my hands, partially because like I've got hand issues already and so lighter pens are my friend. This one is actually significantly heavier this rainbow one and I can't fight with it posted it actually makes my hand hurt quite a lot so I think I'm going to be staying away from metal pens pretty as they are just because I find them a bit too heavy then we I love Parker's. I have three now, if you include the 45 that I just got. And they are some of my favorite pens. This 21 was my very first Parker, and it always gets inked with Madame Mulberry. Part of having a traumatic brain injury is really, really liking routine. And to me, that means that some of my pens always get the same ink every single time I ink them. Because if they don't, it throws me off. This Parker is one of those pens where it always gets Madame Mulberry because when it doesn't, it throws off my brain a lot when I reach for it and it's a different color. So this Parker always gets Madame Mulberry and is 
oftentimes my first pen, especially if my Quaco is out of ink or I just like want a different color to write with, it will become the pen that goes in my purse. Which means we have one left to really fill up. Because I don't know that the other Parker needs ink. This Quaco though is absolutely empty and for the first time ever has had a full clean. Um, it's been ink since Scriptus and I've just been refilling it. But when it ran out of ink in the middle of this month, I decided to actually clean it properly. And it did totally throw off my routine to not have my preferred pen in my purse with me at all times. And so I'm going to do better about making sure like it doesn't run out of ink and like get a bit more streamlined at the cleaning process. I'm not great at cleaning pens. I tend to forget I'm doing it, wander away, get distracted. And by the time I go back to them, like it's days later. That's how I've ruined a couple dip nibs, but at least with fountain pens, you don't have to be quite so precious with forgetting about them, especially if you're just cleaning them in water. But I can get a pretty much full fill. Oh, there are some air bubbles. Whatever. I told myself I was never getting a Quaco, and then I got this one and fell absolutely in love with it. It writes really nicely. I ended up testing out three nibs before I found this one at Scriptus and none of them wrote as nicely as this one does. I just absolutely love it. And it always gets just in blue. And then we have the two sort of newer pens to my collection. We the Black Parker, which was a gift at Scriptus, and it has Earl Grey by Diamine in it currently. I don't know that I love it. It's a bit too dark, and I don't know that it... No, I don't think you need to be really inked. So, it's going to go away. I don't actually know what nib size it is. I just know that it's smaller than my other Parker. So I think one's probably a medium and one's probably a fine. But I haven't actually taken them apart. I've seen people take them apart and it just like seems stressful. <laughs> really, that that's the answer. It seems stressful and so I haven't done it. So, Earl Grey. It's in diamine and diamine starts with the letter D. That's how I'm arranging these watches right now. They're alphabetically by brand, which only works when you only have one brand under each name, but like for now it works. So, this is where I'm prepared to make a giant mess. I'm also going to move all these pens. I'm going this cup. For now, just sort of sit. Um, I hate inking from these little vials. It's not fun with shaky hands. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to like carefully decant some. And you might be going there wondering, didn't you just get a bottle of this ink from Atlas? Yes, but I have a full sample. I, I guess I now have less than two full samples. I had two full samples left and I wanted to use them up before I opened the new bottle. Because that seemed responsible. Um, so... Now we're here. 
over here and my very shaky hands are probably going to be my dad. Alright, good enough. Normally, I would get mom to fill this pen, but she's out. So, instead, I am filling it. I would say that this pen probably gets clogged more than any of my other pens. Not surprising, it's a waterproof black ink, but I would say probably about twice a week it's got a clog. So it does get like undone and flushed more than any other pen in my collection. So I'm not super worried about it. Plus I use, I got a cheap pen so that I didn't have to be worried if I wrecked it because it was not something nice in my collection. So let's look at the colors for this month. We have Extra fine. We have the medium. We have. Uh, FWP. I'm gonna say this is a medium. It's like looking at the medium nib above it, it looks like a medium. We have. Uh, FWP. And a fine. And that just seems like a fine. We're going to call it a fine. And then we have. Uh, FWP blue false medium snapped lid. Let me have something. Oh, this stub is so scratchy. Mm -hmm. mm, I don't know how long this stub will last this month. And this is my March twenty twenty four. I would say it's a pretty this is the last color selection. I wanna say it's really similar. Can you find this page? Yeah. That was last month. That was January. Oh, I guess we did have the bent nib inked up in January. And this is this month. Like I, I stay in the muted colors. I like them. They make me happy. So. No big surprises this month. Um, 
don't know that I like the stud nib. So, we'll see how long that sticks around. Other than that, though, pretty similar color selection to last month. <laughs> uh, you've got muted ink that are still like colored color suggestions, let me know. Because clearly I have a type. Um, and so you need some suggestions. I do have Peter Moss. I could have inked something up in green. Maybe next week. Maybe next month we'll get a green. So thanks for watching. Thanks for hanging out. Um, let me know what's in your fashion trends currently. Because I love watching ink up videos like they're just they're so satisfying to see what people are using and it's just always cool to see what people are using in their own writing practices.